Hey guys, welcome to episode number 368. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And it's such a beautiful day, I decided to shoot it outside on the picnic table. Today, I wanted to take a look at the LED lights that are currently on the market for sale, which are basically replacements for like the T8, T12 bulbs, uh, which basically plug right into your existing fixtures and uh, you're good to go. Uh, these are relatively new to the market and uh, the price has been dropping significantly on these uh, on the in the past few months. So I thought it was time to uh, snag one of them, crack it open and see what's inside. Now in past projects I have used these 5 meter LED reels. These come um, with an adhesive back and you can roll it out stick it down to whatever you're working on uh, and then you can cut it at any one of those points where you see the little scissors there and uh, those work fairly well they're very inexpensive I think a reel is about five dollars and you get a lot of lumens uh, for that five dollars so uh, it is a, a fairly good option low cost option but it does require you to know how to solder to make it work the next form factor that I've used in the past, which is a little bit more durable uh, than this stuff, you can see it sort of bends and flexes, um, easy to short this, this stuff out. The, the thing that's a little bit more rugged are these LED boards, which sort of come on a board material itself and uh, the LEDs are affixed directly to that. Again, you can cut it at any one of those line segments along the way to make it as long as you want. And you have um, basically um, the ability to extend these as long as you want, um, as long as you're soldering these uh, end pieces together. Um, the other noticeable part is these work really well in aluminum channels. Um, they sell aluminum channels which are specifically designed to accept these boards and what that allows you to do is very easily slide them into a structure that is a little bit more rigid, a little bit more durable um, and also helps a little bit with the heat dissipation. So then we come to what is I guess the third generation of uh, LEDs on the market and uh, these are meant to really replace the consumer bulbs that are currently in use in shop lights and other fixtures and uh, like I said before you've got the uh, the end nodes there so you can just plug those directly in you've got a light diffuser that's on the top and you have a really nice aluminum back uh, to some of these this I believe is just a generic uh, brand. I don't even know that it has a brand name on it, uh, but these are getting cranked out probably by the, the millions at this point um, because there is such a high demand for a low cost energy, um, low energy fixture that can, you know, be used in households, in, you know, consumer shopping areas, whatever else. Uh, anyways, these are really user friendly because anyone can pick it up and screw it into a, a fixture they already have and they don't need to know anything else about it. So, um, when I picked this up, I was anticipating to see essentially one strip of this or one strip of this uh, inside. And the reason being is because I did a quick calculation on the, the wattage and the lumens of something like this and that's essentially what it, what it told me is that there would be one strip of LEDs uh, inside it. So what I did was I just popped the end off, there's a couple screws so I popped those off and then the, uh, the light diffuser came off. So I will open this up um, so you guys can see exactly what's inside. And sort of as expected, it is indeed one strip of LEDs. Uh, however, it does look like this strip of LEDs was more or less custom designed for this enclosure, which is something that I was not expecting. 
I was honestly expecting something like this, which is in basically mass market production already, to be slapped into or retrofitted into uh, a fixture like this. That's really the way that you get the cost of something like this down, is to use components that are already readily available and, uh, and just use those. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised to see that this actually fits exactly as it should. It looks like it was designed specifically for use in this type of fixture. And even if you look at the ends, you can see that they're well connected. Um, nothing is really going to short out. It looks like there was a little bit of care that was put into soldering all of these terminals together and getting it to work. And if we flip this over and look, that is actually a significant aluminum channel. Um, and again, the reason why you would want aluminum uh, backing to this is because it's going to really help with your heat dissipation. So that is a large space there. There's a lot of surface area for that aluminum. And uh, that's going to allow the heat to sort of transfer from the LEDs themselves into the aluminum and then out into the room. Uh, so. I am actually pleasantly surprised with these. Um, I don't know that the light density is going to be high enough to replace some of your really powerful like aquarium fixtures. Uh, you would need probably at least four of these bulbs to really accomplish something like that. The other thing to keep in mind is these are really in, in limited production in terms of the lengths available. You're not going to find something that's a custom length to really put above your aquarium. You're really going to have to pick between the two or three different, you know, typical lengths for your shop lights and then, uh, and then retrofit from there. Um, but in any case, I think if you do have a fixture which is able to carry at least four of these bulbs, you would probably be pleasantly surprised by the output, the light output, uh, in your aquarium. That being said, these are daylight bulbs, and uh, I have used daylight, or daylight LEDs, I should say, and I have used the daylight spectrum um, with these two types of LEDs as well. And for aquarium plant use, uh, they don't really do a great job. If you've got something really undemanding like Java Moss, you'll probably be okay, but it doesn't have the depth of the color spectrum that you're going to need to really grow plants or corals or anything else like that. So before you go and run and pick a bunch of these up and install them, just consider that. Uh, but if you're running fish only, you can probably get away with two of these above your aquarium. Uh, if you really have a show tank and, and you want uh, lots of light, you might consider up to four of these in a fixture uh, to really get a good amount of light into the tank. But anyways guys, that's a quick look at the LEDs and uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown and the little explanation and I'll see you guys later.